So number nine on our list, I want to talk about what makes you a good investor's realtor. How are you going to be the good agent to be a value add proposition to this investor? One of the ways is you can help investors identify the properties. All right. So you need to understand what neighborhoods are good, what neighborhoods are bad, which one is the appreciating neighborhood. Understand what is called after repaired value. After repair value. So when you call a client, go, hey, look, dude, there's one that I just saw hit the market. They're listing it for 80 grand. I think the after repair value on this could be 140 or 150. Now you've got an investor's attention because you're talking his language. All right. So help the investor identify properties. Don't let them just all the time come to you and go, hey, I found a property and need you to broker. Be proactive. And once again, I told you, you're a partner, but you're not a partner. Here's part of the part of being a partner. You got that? <laughs> part of the part about being a partner. You could call your investor and go, hey, look, dude, I think I found a house that potentially is going to fit your model. All right? Because I understand it's in a trending market rate. It's in a good rental neighborhood. It's got a great ARV. There's a lot of spread in this deal. The second thing that you can do is you give access to uh, more properties. Now, I don't mean physical access. We just talked about that. Don't do that. What I mean is you've got access to more properties. You are in the know because there are other agents that say, hey, dude, I've got this client that thinks he's going to list a property. Bing, 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 bing. I call my buyer and we can do a deal. Or you may have people that call you and go, I'm thinking about listing this rehab project that I can't finish. Dude, I already have a buyer. So you've got access through your network and your insider uh, licensing aspect that's going to give that investor a wider array of properties and not just the ones that he sees on the MLS. We used to joke in the investment world, by the time it hits the MLS, it's not a deal anymore, all right? Because a good real estate agent already knew it was coming or had another friend agent that told him it was coming and we could get to it before it got to the MLS. You've got to understand the math. You've got to understand what is the right data and the right calculation and the right education can you do a return on investment calculation? Can you do an ARV? Do you understand what the cost is going to be? You potentially almost have to be an investor yourself. And by the way, those actually make good uh, investment realtors or investors to begin with. <clears throat> so you have to understand what their language is to be investor friendly was the word we used earlier. Make sure you know how to calculate all of this. What's a cap rate? What's a gross rent multiplier? All of these things that you need to know. Is it a single tenant uh, lease? Is it a multi-tenant property? Are they triple net leases? Are they single net? Are they a gross lease? All of these terms, uh, actually we have a whole class about investing in commercial property. Um, if you want to look at that, where we go through the terms individually, this class is more just dedicated to you helping investors. But these are terms and verbiage that you will need to understand so that you can, in fact, call your buyer and go, dude, it's time for you to buy because here's the property. All right. You have a be able to read the market. An investor would like for you to be able to read the market. Where is the good place that is up and coming? Where is the next hot area? And can I get property there now so that in a year or two, that property is going to appreciate in value? Specifically, this allows you to bridge those two strategies that we talked about earlier when I was accused of being all over the market. They could be a buy and hold, 
because they could hold for short term, not short term investing, short term hold. So maybe they buy and hold for two years. And then when the mar as the market picks up, because you can read that now they sell it and make money. There's also another thing that you guys might want to think about is you can actually become a certified investor agent specialist. There is a group out there that does this and the website there is on the page www.cias.com. You can become a certified investor agent. That might play into why some agent picks you over some other agent. Get some letters behind your name so that you can now market. Hey, well, I'm a certified agent. I mean, I know the terms. I know the words. I know how to read the market. I know how to read the MLS and look for certain key terms that mean motivated buyers or whatever. So run out, get yourself a designation. Let me disclose. I have no affiliation with that group. Don't even know them. Get no kickback or anything from them. If you like it, do it. If you don't, eh, it's up to you, all right? 